Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am meeting up with my friend Azusa to try an A5 grade Wagyu katsu sando or katsu sandwich. If you don't know what katsu is, it is typically a meat that is cutlet style, so it is battered in panko crumbs and then fried. A really popular sort of street dish, a cheap dish in Japan, is a katsu sando or a katsu sandwich where you can put different kinds of katsu inside of bread basically and you make a sandwich out of it. Today we're going to be going to a pop-up restaurant called Katsu Sando which serves all different kinds of katsu sandwiches. First off, they use a honey shokpan which is a honey milk white bread. Super fluffy, one of my favorite kinds. Some options they serve are like tonkatsu sandwich which is pork cutlet or chicken katsu which is chicken cutlet and sometimes they offer menchi katsu which is like a hamburger steak that is katsu fried and one of my favorite most nostalgic treats an ichigo sando which is a sandwich that has strawberries and cream inside. It sounds weird but it's really really good. But today we're going to try their eigo or A5 grade wagyu. Wagyu is Japanese beef, or at least Japanese style beef. Not all Wagyu is from Japan anymore, but Wagyu is very fatty, very, very, very melty, and this one is katsu-fied. I know that Wagyu katsu sandwiches have been around in Japan for several years, but they're fairly new in the States, but a couple places do offer it. Katsu Sando is one of the places that offers it, and they are located inside of Kura on particular Sunday evenings. So I didn't know too much about katsu sando prior to making this video. I've just seen some friends post about it. So I actually went online to look up some articles to learn more about the pop-up and the restaurant. And I realized that the chef, I actually went to high school with him. I haven't seen him since high school, so I don't even know if he remembers me, but we'll find out. So katsu sando does open at 6 p.m. So it's a bit late and the lighting may not be that good. So I apologize in advance, but yeah, let's go. Azusa! Oh my god! <laughs> Hi! I'm Azusa. Um, I've known Sylvia for three years? Three, four years maybe? Right? Four years? Is it four years? Ooh. Like, how are you gonna model for me, Azusa? So, during the week, this is Kura, a sushi restaurant. And on Sundays, periodically, they have katsu sando. So this is their menu. They have tori katsu, which is chicken. Yeah, chicken katsu, kurobuta katsu, kinoko, which is mushroom, and the eigo wagyu. From. So we just learned. <laughs> you can tell us that we learned. We both learned that katsu comes from cutlet, I guess you pronounce it katsuretsu in Japanese, but it's the first two syllables, so it's katsu, which uh, we learned today. To learn today, yeah. I literally had no idea this whole time. We're fake ass Japanese people. <laughs> mm -mm. That's what we're only half. <laughs> That's why we didn't know. That's our excuse. I am shook. I had no idea. So, where did you go to school? Nihon Ryori Yugi in Tokyo, Japan. Um, we don't know what it is. We don't know. We're assuming it's like Totsuki Gakuin. To yeah. to what is it called? Totsuki. Right? Totsuki yeah. Gakuin. Totsuki Gakuin. Like Shokugeki no Soma. Yes. I, if we get a chance, we're going to ask him if it was I like. Know. I know. I'm just saying that his Japanese might be impeccable compared to ours because he went to Japan to learn. Um, he probably didn't teach in English. <laughs> Japanese people are stubborn. <laughs> we should open a restaurant. We should. It would be a very half-assed Japanese restaurant, but it's half-assed. Because we're half high we You got them jokes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for holding my light. So this is the Menchikatsu Sando. And this is the Kurobuta pork. And it has cheese inside. It's much excite. And this is the A5 grade Wagyu Sando. That looks so good. <laughs> they also have gochujang mayo. You guys probably know how I feel about gochujang mayo. Do they? It's so good. I talked about it in one of my other videos. <laughs> Let's try this. Yeah. It's like $70 worth. Yeah, this is $70. It's probably worth it. Oh, oh wait. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. That thick meat. That thick meat. Do I keep 
to say it? No, just take it off. I'm mean, you're gonna squeeze it. Oh man, look at what he squeezes it though. Look at that. All the juices. It's all wet. You are gonna get flagged for this video. Dadakimasu. Dadakimasu. Mmm. Oh, oh my god, it's so good. That's good. Yeah. Wow. It's really flavorful. It's tender. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was gonna like be hard to like chew off, but it's really tender. They also make their bread in house. It's honey shokpa. If you guys ever go to Japan, you have to eat their bread. Just go to um, Kimura Bakery. Mm. The katsu outside doesn't really like stick to the meat though. Yeah, like mine just like came off. It's like soft. Yeah. It's a bit soggy because I think it's so fatty that the katsu can't hang on very well. Yeah. It's doing its best. Gamba Yeah. You can never go wrong with thick meat. <laughs> Cucumbers, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little, yeah, right? No. It's super vinegary but not sour. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a thicker cut, so the crunch is thick. Thick cut? Yeah. Thick cut. Thick cut. Katsu sando. There's cheese. It's bomb. Oh, I got so excited. I got sauce all over my arms. Yeah, you got sauce all over you? Tadakimasu. I'll wait for you. Thank you. Tadakimasu. Cheese fries. Mm-hmm. By the way, katsu is my favorite food. If I haven't made that clear, like, ever. My number one favorite food in the whole universe is katsu. Like tonkatsu, pork katsu. Yeah, yeah. So this is, is like good. super hitting the spot. It's not normal katsu sauce. It's a little bit sweeter. Yeah. And a little bit lighter than normal katsu sauce, but it's really good. That's true. Oh, I don't know if that's too much damage. <laughs> I might die. Let's chug mayo on it. Let's yeah. see. It's good? It's good. I feel like if you put mm. too much of the sauce, it might take the flavor away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it has to be very small amounts. I think I like this better than the A5 on you. Do you really? Oh my god. Yeah, but tonkatsu is my like, jam. That's I why. Know. Yeah, she's biased. Mm. It's very like comfort food. Like I feel like yeah. katsu sando is like a comfort food. Yeah. It's very like street because it's like Japan is like sort of a street food. Mm -hmm. You can get mench katsu and koroke from like the koroke stand, like yes. some tiny ass stand in on the street, yeah. like in somebody's front door, <laughs> basically. Like from like a grandma or grandpa. Yeah. And so you can get that from like the meat man or like the koroke place. Yeah. And so that's usually what comes to mind. And they're so cheap. They're like eighty cents for one. Like eighty yen for like. A koroke or yeah. like a mench cut. But they're huge, like the size of your fist. Yeah. yeah. It's very comforting to me to eat this. I feel like coming here is probably the closest thing that you can get in Japan. If you can't afford a trip to Japan, coming here would be like similar to yeah. what you would eat over there. Yeah. Oh, oh this is okay. so thick. Yeah, oh it's very thick. They're all very thick. It's thick. It's just a light to the I know. I like a meaty. Oh. This is the mench katsu. It's real thick. As you can see, <laughs> um, I didn't realize it was gonna be that thick. It looks good. It looks good. It looks like it's the same sauce used as the katsu one, but we'll see. This is saying that the pickles are good because they cut through the fat. Yes. Yeah. It almost fell out of my mouth. It's that big. This is really good. I think I like this one because that's actually. This is really good. Yeah, it's super simple. It's just a bed of lettuce and the uh, minchi. minchi. Tastes like Japan. <laughs> it tastes like Japan. It's like home. Yeah, it's very comforting. Wow, oh, it's good. It's so good. So, this is a. Not, well, not limited edition, what is it called? Yeah. Off the menu. It's off the menu, they don't always have the menu katsu, right. but if you check their Instagram, it'll say like what their specials are, I think, or did it even say on Instagram? I actually don't even know because I think they might have told me, but <laughs> ask and see if there's any off the menu stuff for the day. Yeah. Because apparently it's really worth it. It is. Azusa so. got so happy. She has gochujang in her hair <laughs> and food all over her face. I didn't know I had gochujang right now until Sylvia mentioned it. Is it like here? Yeah. How did it get up there? Oh, no. The sandwich is like right here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such a mess. We also got this, which is the strawberry cream sandal. 
So yeah, it's literally a sandwich with cream, with cream and strawberries. And I used to eat this growing up and it's gonna make me so happy I already know it. Yeah. Chef came out, hello. Uh, <laughs> he made all this delicious food, oh, thank you. <laughs> so we finished eating. It was really, really good. It was, it was really good. What was your favorite? The menchi. Menchi katsu is so good. I also like the menchi I still think yeah. I like the tonkatsu. Yeah. But, yes. the best thing about all of those was the bread. We got loaves of bread. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. I'm gonna sleep on this tonight as my pillow. It's amazing. It's yeah. so soft, it's so good. The bread is so yeah. good. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, when you guys go, if you, if you guys ever visit Japan, the bread is the best thing to eat. It is. Make sure you guys stop in Katsu Sando. Follow their Instagram, it's gonna be linked below. Thank you so much to Chef for having us in. Thank you so much to Azusa for helping me with this of video. Of course. And yeah, like, subscribe, and let me know other things that you want us to try to eat. Yeah, I'll be back. She will definitely be back. More sexual innuendos. <laughs> Thanks guys, and matane.